Hey guys, Sean here. Um, so I was recently tagged in this more in this MCU tag, what you call it, video uh, by my friend Tavia, um, where you apparently have to ask or answer some like, certain questions about the MCU and then tag other people and and whatever. So um, I'm just gonna do this the best I can, and if I suck, then Better with me. That's all I can say. Um, so, question number one: What is your favorite MCU movie? Ooh, that's a, that's actually quite a tie. Um, it, it it would have to be a tie between between um. Uh, see, it would be between the Avengers from 2012 and Captain America: Civil War. So, actually, no, fuck it. It's a three way tie, actually. So Avengers 2012, Civil War, Guardians of the Galaxy. So, the three way tie. I can't really choose. Um, least favorite MCU movie. Um, that would probably be. My god, there's been so many I can't pick. Um,. Yeah, I can't choose one. There's been so many of them. I don't know which one I like the least. Um. Huh. Huh. Um. So let's go on to the next question. Favorite end credit scene? Oh, this one's gonna be fucking easy. Um. The second end credit scene in Civil War with Spider-Man. Main thing is I've always been a Spider-Man, always been a huge Spider-Man fan, and pretty much anything related to him I like. So the end credit scene in Civil War where Spidey gets his, um, I guess, spider signal or thingy, whatever they want to call it. So that's my favorite end credit scene. My least favorite would be. Uh. Probably, if I had to pick, probably my least favorite would be in, um, uh, let's see. Shit, yeah, I can't pick that one either. Um, favorite, least favorite end credits team. Uh, I'd probably say the one in Thor 2011, where Salvik meets up with um, with Fury. I, I would have to say that one probably if I had to pick. Seen any of the shows? Agents of Shield and Daredevil. Um, I've never seen Agent Carter, and I've never seen Jessica Jones. Um. I'm not really a fan of the Daredevil show. I mean, I liked season two because there was less King Fan. I didn't really care for him. Well, there's there's my answer to number seven, least villain, King Fan. <laughs> but I'll get to that one later. Um, and as far as Agents of Shield goes, I actually like that show very much. Um, I've been watching every every episode of uh, since the beginning. I even own season one on DVD. I want to pick up season two and then get season three when they when they release it. Um, so I just have a lot of fun with Agents of Shield. Yeah, season three may have gone down since season to, to season two, but still it's a fun show. I think. Uh, favorite MCU villain? Ah, uh, that would be Loki because he has been the most well-rounded character, I think. And the most charismatic character. Um, least favorite. Oh, this one is going to be yet another tie between Vincent Jaffrey as Kingpin and Daniel Bruhl, I think, as Baron Zemo. I'll probably go with Zemo because his whole plan in Civil War just hinged on coincidence. That's it. Like, certain people have to be in a certain particular place for his whole plan to line up. 
And if they're not in that particular place, well, it's like, I'm fucked. My plane goes nowhere. That's, that, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, so yeah, Baron Zemo, least favorite villain. Um, Team Cap or Team Iron Man? Oh boy. Um, oh boy, this one. Oh, brother. Um, uh, I guess I'll just say Team Iron Man because, again, I like Spider Man. So I'll just say Team Iron Man, I guess. Um, uh, let's see. Question 9 got chopped off in my uh, thing. So hang on. Question 9 is If Josh Whedon got his wish to make a female Avengers movie, who would you want to see? You are allowed to use a Russian villain on my Fox. Um, I'd say probably a female Avengers movie. Let's see. Black Widow. Um, Scarlet Witch. Um, let's see. Black Widow, Scarlet Witch. Um, Jean Grey. Um, let's see, then Gamora, um, I don't know, to be quite honest, I do not know, um, that, that's a toughie, that question is a toughie, um, so, question 10. Any cool MCU merchandise? Um, do the movies count? Cause other than that, I pretty much just have this hat and probably a couple T-shirts here and there. So not really much as far as merchandise. Most anticipated upcoming movie? Ooh. Um. Uh, that would be a tie between Guardians 2 and Spider-Man Homecoming. For the same reason I said before, I'm a huge Spider-Man fan. I'll watch anything with Spider-Man in it. I'm pretty to God this is better than the last two cinematic kicks to the balls that Spider-Man suffered. Sony, keep your hands out of this movie. Keep it out. I don't want you fucking up Spider-Man again. Uh, number 12. One for the other guys. A DC movie you like as much, if not more, than most of the MC movies. Um, for DC, that would be a tie between The Dark Knight and um, Man of Steel. I know a lot of people hate Man of Steel, but you know what? I like it. I think Man of Steel is a great movie. Same with Dark Knight. They're fun movies. I enjoy them. So, yeah, that would be, I guess, the one I'd pick. That'd be the two I'd pick, is Dark Knight and Man of Steel. Um, a Marvel movie not owned by Disney, Sony Fox or Universal, which being for Hulk, that you like as much, if not more, than the MCU movies. Ooh. Uh, again, this would be another tie. Oh, that lay. So many ties, man. Um, okay. Days with you passed. Alright, this is for Fox. David Fast, Rogue Cut, Deadpool, for Sony, the, the Amazing, or not, bleh, I hate the Amazing Movies, the Raimi Spider-Man Trilogy, um, and if we're going to throw Lionsgate into this, The Punisher 2004, um, even though it's not on this list, I'm still throwing it in here, um, and even Daredevil, the director's cut for Fox. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's my, uh, thing. And for the people who I would tag, uh, my friend Parker, even though Tevye's already tagging him, um, my friend John Avenger, and then my friend Darth Bryboy. I'll put their links to the channels in, in the description below. Have a great day. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye-bye.